Hey, it's your host Dan once again. Today we're going to be repairing a CD player here in the car I just bought, Pontiac 2004 GTO. When I originally looked at the car, I hit the eject and I could have sworn it said no disc. This car has just stupid low miles, 18,000 original miles. I shouldn't have assumed that it probably worked. I should have grabbed a disc and tested it myself. But when I got home afterwards, I hit the load button to load up some discs and here I'll show you what it does it'll take a moment please wait it's actually a six disc changer in that radio so it's not just a single disc there we go CD error mech and hopefully we can uh, get this unjammed get it back into place and have the CD player working once again so I just went out and bought these. These are the radio removal tools that'll get the radio out. I've got plenty of these, but they're DIN size. The spacing on this is a little wider. It was only $4.50 shipped to the door, and it's easier just to do it like this with these instead of trying to make your own and then having four in there and holding them all. So I was busy with other things, so I didn't mind waiting for these to come in the mail, which just took a few days. Like I said, $4.50 shipped to the door. Pretty cheap. Okay, so the keys go in the little holes. You kind of push them in. You'll feel them snap in, and you kind of got to wiggle it side to side a little bit, back and forth, and then it will release. And you can just slide the whole radio right out. You don't have to unplug a thing because the plug is on the back, which plugs into the back of the cage in the dashboard. So let's go take the radio over to the workbench. Cracker open like an egg. I just want to take a moment here and show you how the removal tool works. Uh, when you slide it in the holes, right here there's a spring clip and there's these little like tangs, barbs, that stick off of it, that's what locks the radio into place in the dash. So when you slide this tool in, it pushes on that a little bit and gives you a little wiggle room to kind of push it in and pushes those back into the radio. This way it can release it from the edge and you can pull it forward. So I'm kind of glad I bought these. It made it pretty simple. All right, next up, let's pop this top cover off. Just gonna pry it up. The old edges, no screws holding it on, which is kind of nice. Makes things a little bit easier. There we go. Oh. oh. <clears throat> there is some CDs in here. Looks like Nirvana. Hmm. Okay, so now we gotta extract this baby. Yeah, it looks like this just pulls up. I can probably get that tap one out if I pull this up enough, carefully. Careful, careful. Come on, little guy. What do we got here? Nirvana. Okay, so it looks like I got to get the platter, the little black piece out of there too. And I kind of just move these gears here to get it to a point where it looks like it's ab about to release. And, yep, there we go. Let's be careful. Oh boy. Corn. See, it's held in by the spool in the middle. I have to push those in to release the disc, it looks like. This is the one in the player. So I'm thinking this is the stuck one. Three-fingered approach. Oh, there we go. Okay. That one's out. 
It's that stuck guy down here. Let's see here. I'm gonna move the little gears and let's see what it does again. All right, so I've been playing around with this thing for probably five, ten minutes, moving the gears around. I think I made some progress. This part with the laser, and I can tell this piece of metal has to slide forward. Otherwise, the platters wouldn't be able to come up and down, and it looks like I can kind of push on it. There we go. I can kind of push on it a little bit. Not too hard. Just enough. And I'm getting closer. It'd be nice to see if I can get all the CDs out. Then I'll know it'll work. I'm not really too confident on putting it back together. If it might break something and up. Oh. Because it might break something or something's not aligned right and one of the motors tries to work and one of the other ones is off. But you know what? I'm getting closer here. I need to get this. There we go. Oh! Almost there. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, that's all tucked in. Whew. Thank goodness. Alright. This way, if I can get all the discs out and put it back together with nothing in it, when I put it back in, it should do its reset thing and not get stuck. Then I should be able to put a disc in. Okay. Once we get it off. Just like operation, don't touch the sides. And don't kill the patient. There's that one. See, there's another one here. I think when I move this, it somehow centered those holes or something like that. There we go. I think that's how it's got to be. Okay, this side here doesn't want to come off fully. I think that's because there, it's not fully released. What are you clipped into? There's a clipped in the front. -da 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 -da. There, I think we got that one too. Don't break her. Don't break those little tabs. Okay. Hey. I just tip her over. Whoa. We all fell out. <laughs> okay. That settles that. I'll set these off to the side. So it looks like from here, I'm going to get all these platters back in. Back into place. Get that disc off the floor, whatever that one was. Looks like another CDR. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. You got all those in there? It's our next one. Let's 
Take it all slow, step by step. Don't want to bust anything. We want her to work. Get on that post. Okay, so let's see now. What do we got y'all? Let's take a look at how those stacked in there from the side. Okay. They look like they stack nice and pretty. Okay. Hmm. And then this little guy, he gonna go like he gonna go like so, right? Stack down. These don't look like they're in there all the way. I feel like something's. There we go. I just had to move. There we go. We just had to move the little thumb wheel back and forth to get that in there. Now it looks like the, the platter is, is stacked back in there real nice. And that's been just kind of pushed out of the way. So I'm hoping now that there's no. Since there's no discs in here. That everything's gonna play nice. You know, it's gonna wanna load a CD and do its business like it should. So I got all the discs out. I think that's good. We're on there, all the platters are in there nice. There's no gaps between them. This is kind of pushed out of the way, but. Mm, that'll do so since I'm gonna kind of slide it back in the dash anyways I'm not gonna fully lock it into place hopefully I'll get it in there close and if it works then I'll I'll give it the full lock okay just snap the cover in these three little tabs got to go in first and then once those guys are in there We're good to snap. See that one? We gotta pull her back just a touch. Okay. That wasn't really that hard. That was pretty easy. Let's make sure everything's kind of all put back together. Kind of looks like this radio's modular, like it's. Two dens in one. This just being the CD player and this being your radio portion. See, it's screwed together. Probably just a ribbon from these two. Let's go pop her back in the car and see what she does. Okay, big test. I'm back in the car. Fingers crossed. Uh, let's see here. I don't have it pushed 100% all the way in. It's making some CD noises. Sounds like it's checking the platters. Moving them in one at a time or trying to get its little synchro servo gear thingies all aligned up where they need to be. So I'm going to give it a moment. Hopefully let it stop doing that. Okay, that stopped. Okay, will it work? Load. Please wait. Insert disc. Ooh! Oh, 
Is it going to work? Oh my god. It works. Yes. Cool. Way cool. I got the CD player working once again. I'll go ahead and load up load up these other discs. Insert disc. Uh, let's see which one do we want next. Uh, you know what? I'm going to hit eject. I'm going to do the ITA. Just I think all the GTO radios. And hey, even if you, you know, you come from the land down under where these cars were originally made, you got one of these too. It should work on your Holden too as well if you got a Monaro so this is a pretty easy fix this could have cost a lot of money at a dealer I mean they would have robbed you for this insert next and they never would have fixed it like this probably getting the CD out they they're in business to sell you parts cool I fixed the CD player. Awesome. Let's see, how do I change my discs? Disc, here we go. Loading CD1. So looks like everything's back together. I'm going to go ahead and give it a firm. There, you hear all those clips lock into place. So everything's snapped back in for the radio. Loading up a CD. Everything's all fixed, so now I get to enjoy some, some tunes in my car when the radio's not too hot. So, hope you learned something with this video, and as always, I just want to say thanks for watching.